Uh, my name is Paul Hayes. I am the ceramics chair of the Indianapolis Art Center. Um, I work with 10 other teachers here to uh, teach ceramics of all sorts, wheel throwing, hand building, anything like that. And yeah, we run a full studio pretty much every single day of the week. Uh, and we fire a total of seven different kilns and different types of firing. So because it's National Arts and Education Week, uh, I thought I would go ahead and ask you what um, arts education has done for you in your life. Um, what kind of opportunities has it given you? What are you thankful for about it? That kind of thing. Uh, arts education honestly functions very similarly to my lungs. Um, it's a part of my breathing everyday life. Um, it, it gives me a pulse. It gives me a very good... Uh, excuse to get out of bed every day. Um, I, I have benefited from art education and art in general just um, as a way to deal with stress, as a way to um, make a living, and um, a way to meet people. Honestly, it's been a huge, huge benefit for me as far as meeting, meeting people in society. That kind of leads me to a tangential question, but um, what do you like about the Indianapolis art scene in particular? Um, because it sounds like uh, you've been able to engage a lot in your art through this community. Absolutely. Um, Indianapolis is always, I mentioned lungs earlier, it's always breathing with different strands of art. Um, I actually, one of the first things I did when I moved here was I went to a, a music, a, a concert in a house um, down in Fountain Square and I remember just being blown away at the talent that I was seeing there. Um, First Friday has been a really very engaging thing throughout the city uh, and is every day. Um, and not just not just like specific fine art but uh, you see things like the cultural trail going up and around town and you see people's hard work all throughout the city and downtown and it really, it's really beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's a fascinating thing to, to see day in and day out. Um, I think that's a good lead up to this next question. Um, so as far as arts education in our broader community, um, maybe limited to Indianapolis, maybe um, the culture of the nation when it comes to arts education, what kind of things do you think we're doing well and could be doing better? Um, well, arts education and uh, honestly other branches of education as well have been somewhat stifled, I think, a lot in, in recent years. Um, and I don't actually believe that that's a bad thing. I, I see when, when I see art get kind of snuffed out in some way or, or attempted to be left behind, I think. I see art really rise up and I see it sometimes get maybe a chip on its shoulder and, and really work to, um, to be noticed and to be, again, just a, a beacon for people and society. Um, do you think it's that level of kind of being put on the sidelines that kind of makes artists um, strive to, you know, create new um, movements and to um, kind of uh, bridge that gap with their creativity? Absolutely, yeah, I see that every day. I see, um, especially with young kids, and that, that to me is a really fascinating and just wonderful thing to see. Um, young kids that might not get the same art classes that I got or, or maybe my parents got, but they get a lot of times, e even the art center does um, some outreach programming that, that gives them a voice in the, in the art world, um, and I see I see it just becoming a a big deal to them all of a sudden, and, a, and a, an inspiration in their life. And so, for a lot of people, uh, some at some points in my own life, that's all you have, and and I think that I think that trying to trying to put it put it off to the side or the back burner, like you said, I think is, it, it comes out, it comes out stronger and, and more passionate. I really like that philosophy and 
um, stance on like where art is at right mm -hmm. now um, because I think it's a tough time for a lot of people um, sure. just with the news and we're not having access to the arts and um, so I suppose we'll we'll leave it with um, do you have any words of inspiration for those people out there struggling right now who may not have access to the arts um, in, in the way they want to or um, tips that kind of thing um, in my experience I I believe that you have to find an outlet. No matter what creative source you're drawing from, find an outlet every single day um, and multiple times a day and that well will never dry up that way if you just continue to put in work and hours and hours of work. 